everybody. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate experiment 2, sound wave. At the end of this experiment, students should be able to determine the speed of the sound using resonance tube. Sound waves propagating down the tube are reflected at the close end and stationary waves are produced by the interference of the incident and reflected with trains. Since the air is at rest at the close end, it is therefore a node. The open end must be an antinode. The antinode is situated at a short distance C, known as the end correction, beyond the open end of the tube. Figure 2.1 shows the position of nodes and antinodes of the vibration for the first three conditions of resonance. Sound waves are longitudinal and are shown as transverse in order to create a clear picture of what is happening. We have L1 plus C equals to lambda over 4, refer to figure 4.1a. L2 plus C equal to 3 lambda over 4, refer to figure 4.1b. L3 plus C equals to 5 lambda over 4 and you may refer to figure 4.1c where lambda is the wavelength of the wave. Note that lambda and F is the same for all the three resonance. In this experiment, we restrict our observation to the quad wave, lambda over 4 resonance because it is the easiest to detect. If L is the length of the air column when resonance occurs, F is the frequency of the sound waves and C is the end correction. We have L plus C equals to lambda over 4 equals to V over 4 bracket 1 over F as equation 4.1, where the speed of the sound is equals to lambda times with F. Therefore, L plus C equals to V over 4 bracket 1 over F as equation 4.2. Experimentally, equation 4.2 become L equals to V over 4 bracket 1 over F minus C as equation 4.3, where C is the end correction. From the graph, L against 1 over F determine the value of V and C. The apparatus needed are two record stand with clamps, a resonant tube, rubber stopper with glass tube, a rubber tube of at least 1.2 meter in length, a plastic bottle, a large speaker, a signal generator, colored water, and a meter room. Set up the apparatus as shown. Connect a loudspeaker to a signal generator. Set the frequency of signal generator at 600 Hz and turn on the generator. Pour the colored water into the plastic bottle and hold the loudspeaker near the open end of the tube. Adjust the length of the air column inside the resonance tube until the resonance occurs. Repeat step 3 to 5 for at least 6 different frequencies in the range of 600Hz. 
600 to 1200 Hz. For an alternative way, you may replace the signal generator and the loudspeaker with any frequency generator apps. You may download the apps from your mobile phone. You can adjust the frequency easily by dragging the yellow dot or you can simply insert the desired value of the frequency. Tabulate your data for this experiment. You may pause this video and complete the table. Next, write a full report. Give comments about your experimental result and compare it with the standard value. State the source of error as well as the precaution taken to overcome them. Lastly, state the conclusion of your experiment. If you have any question, just leave your comments below. I'll try my best to answer your question. Thank you for watching.